What's up guys, Jameson here, and I'm shooting another training for you today. How to really, I was grabbing the screen, I was grabbing the thumbnail, stop. <laughs> and, and I wanna talk about how you can mitigate risk and really help you feel more safe and secure with what you're doing with these investments. Now, BitConnect, Control Finance, USI Tech, there'll be hundreds more that come along. Right now, we are truly in a gold rush uh, from the standpoint that cryptocurrencies are so new and so uh, undervalued, I think, by most people. They're not taking it serious. They're not getting involved. They're looking at it like it's this joke, like it's this gimmick. And the people who are taking it serious are cleaning up. They're cleaning up, making money with these investment programs, these trading bots, just all of it, really. And that being said, I think that most people, what they tend to do is because focus is so limited, right? That they start thinking like, okay, I'll sink everything, all my chips into this one thing, right? Like I'll bet on black, like blackjack, right? And that's, that's not really, actually that's not blackjack, that's roulette. Um, anyways, that's not really a smart strategy. We want to diversify. We want to limit the amount of risk we have by stretching the amount of risk that we are carrying across multiple investments and across multiple platforms. So understand that the, the huge money, the huge players that are in cryptocurrency right now, it's not their major, it's not their major or only holding that they have. They have other investments going on. If this is your first investment coming into the game uh, at crypto, then you can make a lot of profit out of cryptocurrencies, pull that out into other investment vehicles. But by no means should you have everything sunk into just crypto or maybe just BitConnect or just one of these even offers. You wanna thin out that risk in case one of them go down, in case something changes and new litigation is passed that changes the game overnight because that could happen. And I just don't want to see a bunch of people that because they thought that this one program was gonna save them, that they thought this one opportunity was gonna save their life, they sunk everything into it and ended up losing. We will see that. We will see that in this whole rush, this whole bubble that is cryptocurrency. You will see a ton of people lose everything they've got. That's just the reality of it. In every bubble, there's a ton of winners and there's a ton of losers. So what I always like to do is I like to thin out that risk, that liability that I'm holding by getting involved in multiple, uh, multiple opportunities and um, you know just creating uh, different flags in different things. Now, the, the one piece of advice that I will give you is no matter what 99% of the economists say, they're full of shit. They don't actually know what's gonna happen, if it's gonna go up or down, they're just guessing. The only people that actually know what they're talking about are the people who read people. The people who read the trend of the population. And they, they're they reading the fear, they're reading how people are feeling, and they're looking at what the masses are doing, feeling, talking, uh, talking about, and saying about these certain things. That helps them become more accurate. And I think that Figuring out people and the things the you know the underlying forces that drive people, I think that's a lot smarter of a choice to uh, follow and use that as a indicator of buying and selling. That's true for the stock market. That's true for cryptocurrency. Is because it's the people that are driving it. It's the people that are driving the uh, you know the up and down on a daily basis. It's the fear. It's the excitement. It's all those basic primal emotions that we all understand. You know, there's over 120 cognitive biases and uh, fallacies that come into play when people invest, and it comes into play with cryptocurrency. The reason why people like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger were so successful and are so successful with investing is that they've removed so many layers of cognitive dissonance and they've removed so many of the fallacies that we all fall for out of their mind and they look at things very black and white logically and they don't allow that emotion to come into play when they are making these decisions, these business moves. And over the years, what do you know? The thing that most people don't do is they don't handle their emotions. They don't throttle their emotions. They're just wild. They're all over the map. And that's why those people will have huge losses and huge gains and huge, and everything's a peak in a valley, peak in a valley, peak in a valley. 
Whereas a guy like Charlie Munger, a guy like Warren Buffett, you see them very steady, very steady. And it just slowly is going up and up and up and up. It's like a very gradual bell curve on the way up. And one of the big reasons why, and if you look at any interview that those guys have done throughout their, almost their entire life, what they're talking about is not falling for fallacy. They're talking about staying rooted and resolute in yourself and looking at the actual indicators that make trends, not the assumed indicators that make trends. And I think that's the core difference. So when we're looking at having long-term success with this thing, those are the things that I suggest you look at because those are the indicators that always dictate what's gonna happen with a stock or a market and uh, mitigate your risk by sectioning off and, and allocating a certain amount of your money into these different investment tools. That's it for this video. If you haven't joined BitConnect, Control Finance, or USI Tech, there's sign-up links underneath this video. Those are the three things that I'm focused on right now. Each one are consistently paying about 1% per day on the overall investment that you've got. They all work a little bit differently. Some have better affiliate perks than other ones, but those are the three that I'm involved in right now and, uh, and working with. So if you haven't joined up with those three, there's links underneath the video. If you like the content that I'm putting out, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so that you get an email the minute that I upload and you're constantly on the cutting edge of the, the content and videos that I'm uploading. That's it for now. I'll see you in another training video soon.